Uh, okay, hello. Uh, I'm going to be talking about uh, Wikidata and OpenStreetMap and adding links between the systems uh, using Python. So uh, just a bit about me. Uh, I'm an independent software engineer. I, I don't have an employer. Uh, this is kind of hobby work that I'm doing. Um, uh, OpenStreetMap. I think everyone here knows about OpenStreetMap. We've just heard about OpenStreetMap in the previous talk. So it's a map that anybody can edit. Uh, but I feel like maybe people here might be less familiar with Wikidata. So Wikidata is a collaborative knowledge graph. Um, it's built by the same people as Wikipedia, by the Wikimedia Foundation. Um, and uh, this is an example of a Wikidata page. So I'm, I'm from Bristol in the UK. This is the main railway station in Bristol. Uh, and you can see it's, it's got the, uh, the Wikipedia article in there uh, in English. Uh, and that's because Wikidata is where the interlanguage links on Wikipedia are stored. Like when you look up an article in one language and you want to see the same article in a different language, that information gets stored in Wikidata. Um, but then there's, there's more things in, well, um, so uh, the important thing to note about this is the queue number. Uh, every Wikidata item is uniquely, uh, ha has a number to uniquely identify it. And that, that number doesn't change. Like on Wikipedia, sometimes the article titles change. Um, you don't have that problem on Wikidata because there's a unique identifier. So if we scroll down the page, there's some more information in Wikidata. There's uh, statements. So this is all kind of a tightly controlled vocabulary of uh, properties and values. Uh, we've got things like uh, this is a, a railway station. You can have images in there. Um, it's in the city of Bristol. Um, and then if we scroll down the page some more, we get uh, the, the architect. Um, but the interesting thing for us uh, is the coordinates. So Wikidata is full of real world things uh, that have coordinates. Um, uh, and then further down the page, we've got some identifiers. Like I like to think of Wikidata as like uh, the Rosetta Stone of identifiers. You can look up things in one database, find an identifier, find the thing in Wikidata using that identifier, and then you can link it into another database because we've got all of these different identifiers coming from different systems um, that you can, you can match and link things together. So um, I went to a conference about 10 years ago. The State of the Map is the, the main OpenStreetMap conference. The State of the Map Europe was in uh, Karlsruhe in Germany. Um, and it was a, a nice city like Basel. I very much enjoyed it. Uh, interesting people, interesting talks. At the end, there was a hackathon, and uh, people could post ideas for things to work on. And uh, somebody posted an idea saying, oh, we should b build a way of linking things between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. And I thought that was a great idea. So I said, yeah, let's meet up and discuss things. So the, the guy that posted it, this is uh, Andy Mabber, it's his idea. And he said, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not at the uh, conference. I'm, I'm at home in Birmingham, but I just think someone should work on this. So I didn't get to meet him at the conference, but I did think, yes, I, sh I should build this. So uh, I, I went off and I, and I started building. So this is what I've built. This is the OpenStreetMap Wikidata Matcher. Um, and if I give you an example, of this, this is Basel. So um, on this, this previous screen, you've got a search box. You type in the, the name of something that's of interest to you, um, you know, your, your town or city. Uh, and then it uh, chugs away, it takes a few minutes looking for matches, and then you end up on a screen like this. So this is uh, uh, a map with a bunch of pins, and the pins represent uh, Wikidata items that the system has found a match for things that are in OpenStreetMap. Um, so you, you can scroll down this list. Uh, here's an example of, of one of the matches that the system has found. Uh, and it wants you to go through and check each of the matches by hand uh, just to make sure that it hasn't made a mistake. So we have a look at this. Uh, and if we're happy with it, we, uh, we tick the box to say, yeah, this is a good match. We want to save it. And you can see it's on the map. It's, it's zoomed in. Um, the red pin is, is the coordinates from Wikidata. And the blue pin is the coordinates from OpenStreetMap. So the two things are pretty close. Um, we, we pull the, the label from uh, Wikidata, and it's showing me the label in English because I've got the language set to English. Um, but then it's showing the first paragraph from Wikipedia, and there's no uh, English language Wikipedia article on this topic. 
So I get the, uh, the German um, uh, article instead. Um, and then uh, I pull out the street address. The street address is in Wikidata, and it's in OpenStreetMap. And I can see that they're the same, so I know this is probably a match. Um, like it, it hasn't managed to match the name in this case, even though the names are pretty close. Uh, but we know we've got a match from the from the address. Um, and uh, another important piece of this is the item type. So the item type is is the Wikidata type, and this is school building. Uh, so if we go back to Wikidata, uh, Wikidata has an item to represent school buildings. Um, and then if we scroll down on this page, then you can see that there's uh, a property in Wikidata for OpenStreetMap tag or key, and we've got tag building equals school. So any uh, school buildings on OpenStreetMap should be tagged with uh, the, the building equals school tag. Um, so that's how we get to match them up. Um, so if I scroll to the end of uh, my page with my list of matches, then right at the bottom, I've got a button that says add Wikidata tags to OpenStreetMap. So I've gone through and I've checked all of the matches and I'm happy with them. So then I click this link and I, I, get, I get to a confirmation page where it just shows me the same matches again. I can double check them if I want. I've got the system's found 92 matches that it can add in uh, Basel. Uh, and then it, it generates a change set comment. So this is when you tr save the uh, edit to OpenStreetMap it will uh, use this as the, the comment on, on the change set. And when I'm happy, I can hit save, and it'll go and edit OpenStreetMap, and it adds uh, Wikidata tags. So each of these things on OpenStreetMap will have the tag pointing to the QID on Wikidata. Um, so how am I doing the matching? The, uh, if for a thing to match, it has to be the same entity type. So the example I just gave was uh, school building. It's got to be um, similar coordinates. Uh, you know, they, the two things have to be nearby, near to each other. And then it's either got to have the same uh, name or a street address or an identifier. So in terms of uh, matching the name, uh, here's, here's some Python, because this is a Python conference. So I, uh, I do lots of uh, name normalization. I do things like I, I lowercase the name when I compare it. But I also uh, do a lot of uh, trimming of the name. So um, you know, if I've got an abbreviation on the end and then I'm, I'm confident, um, then I can strip off that abbreviation or I remove hyphens, that kind of thing. Um, and then I've got loads of extra code for matching church names because people manage to find different ways to write the, the names of churches. Um, uh, you know, Saint is ST and so on. Um, and then in terms of matching on identifier, I've got like a long list of uh, identifiers that I know the OpenStreetMap tag and I know the, the property to compare it with on Wikidata. So if, if two things have got the same identifier, like the same airport code, then they're probably the same thing. Uh, um, but then, you know, a good question is, why do I want to do this? And uh, the, the reason is that it, it makes both systems uh, better, that uh, Wikidata often has the uh, names of things in more languages uh, than OpenStreetMap does. So if you want to use OpenStreetMap data and, and show the, uh, the name of uh, an, a thing in your own language, then, then it's good to be able to pull it in from Wikidata. Um, and uh, if you want to link to Wikipedia articles, there is um, people adding tags for the Wikipedia article to um, OpenStreetMap, but they tend to only link to one uh, language, whereas if you link to the Wikidata item, then you can go through to uh, access any of the, the languages that are available. And I, I showed the identifiers um, earlier. It, you know, Wikidata is a great source of identifiers. You can get a lot more identifiers for your OpenStreetMap object. And um, Wikimedia Commons is um, uh, the image uh, library for Wikipedia. So you might get a lot of photos of the, uh, of the thing that's on OpenStreetMap from, from Wikimedia Commons. Uh, so I built this uh, with Python. Uh, I'm using uh, Postgres as my database and PostGIS to store um, data from OpenStreetMap. Uh, I'm, uh, Flask is the web framework. Uh, I'm using SQL Alchemy as the, um, the uh, object relational mapper between the database and Python. And there's uh, GeoAlchemy 2 um, 
adds, you know, the geo stuff uh, to SQL Alchemy for talking to uh, PostGIS. And on the front end, it's it's built with uh, Leaflet and uh, Bootstrap and, and Vue.js Vue is the framework I'm using. Um, and the, the code is uh, open source. You can you can get the code off uh, GitHub. So I'm I'm using uh, various APIs for building this. Uh, Nominatum is the uh, OpenStreetMap geocoder. So that is you know put in a place name, get coordinates back. Uh, Overpass is a good API if you want to pull um, bits of map data from uh, uh, OpenStreetMap. Um, then, and then the, the uh, Wikidata Media Wiki API is the same kind of API that you use if you want to get uh, data from Wikipedia, but you can use it to get bits and pieces from Wikidata. And then the other piece that I'm using is the, uh, the, the Wikidata query service. So I'll talk about the query service a bit. The, uh, the query service, uh, it, it, you, you query it using a language called Sparkle. Uh, Sparkle is the query language of the semantic web. Um, it hasn't really taken off that much, but it, it does get used a lot in Wikidata. Um, so this is an example of Sparkle uh, and querying Wikidata with Sparkle. This is a query to ask for all the uh, uh, bridges in Basel that uh, cross the Rhine. Um, so yeah, ev when you're doing stuff with Wikidata, it's all just uh, identifiers. So instead of having uh, you know, readable field names, We've got field names that are all numbered, uh, and then the same for the for the object. So this says, um, give me all things that are an instance of or are a subclass of an instance of bridge, uh, uh, which are in the uh, the city of Basel, uh, which cross the Rhine, and it asks for the coordinates uh, and the, the any and an image. Um, so this is what the the output looks like when you run this uh, Sparkle query. Um, and uh, you can also say, show, show me uh, images. There's, there's just a button to switch to uh, image mode. Or you can say, uh, show me the results on a map. And because we've got the coordinates, it can render them uh, results on a map. So I, I quite like the, uh, the Wikidata query service. Just as an aside, like, uh, you can do ridiculous things like uh, impact craters named after choreographers. Uh, and uh, it'll, it'll happily give you a list of uh, in impact craters named after choreographers around the, the solar system. Uh, so get, getting back to my software that I've built, um, there's, there's uh, various uh, problems. Uh, one of the problems that I have is that there's different licenses between the two systems. So Wikidata is licensed CC0 or public domain. You can do anything you want with uh, Wikidata. There's, there's no restrictions on the, uh, on the data. Uh, whereas Open Data Open Street Map uses its own license, the Open Database license, which was written for Open Street Map, um, and you can't copy any data from Open Street Map to Wikidata. Like if you copied anything from Open Street Map to Wikidata, then you would be relicensing it CC0, which you're not allowed to do. Um, but it's that's kind of okay because I'm just adding links between the systems. I'm not copying any data uh, between the systems, but even beyond uh, different licenses, there's uh, different uh, intellectual property jurisdictions. So OpenStreetMap asserts uh, database rights, which exist under Euro European law, whereas uh, Wikidata uses US intellectual property law where there are no database rights. Um, so the um, and facts are not protected in, in US law. So um, uh, th there's a concern within the OpenStreetMap community that uh, Wikidata is a derived work of uh, Google Maps, say, that uh, people are looking up coordinates for things on Google Maps and then they're putting them in Wikidata and people have done that thousands of times and how can we be sure that the coordinates in Wikidata, you know, are, are not, um, uh, doesn't make it a derived work of another system in terms of the database rights. So again, this I don't think this is a problem with what I'm doing because I'm not uh, copying data between the systems. I'm just adding links between the systems. But this this is a consideration for anyone reusing the data and trying to combine the two bits of data. Um, and uh, another problem we've got is uh, stable identifiers. That uh, OpenStreetMap wasn't designed to have stable identifiers. That something can be uh, remapped. Um, you might um, put a railway station into OpenStreetMap initially as a node 
as like a single point, and then later on somebody comes and changes it to uh, a polygon around the building of the railway station. And um, it, when they do that, the identifier will change, uh, and no one sees that as a problem. So, you know, there isn't a way to say this is the ID that points at a railway station, at, you know, a specific um, thing. And people have been known about this for a long time with OpenStreetMap. They've been discussing it on the OpenStreetMap wiki since 2017. Um, but it turns out that this isn't that big of a problem as, as people thought, that um, the, the identifiers don't tend to change that much because it, it, the whole world you know, is pretty well mapped. Um, and so and people aren't going around and just deleting things and then adding them again where, where it will change the ID. So uh, even though people within the OpenStreetMap community will tell you that uh, OpenStreetMap doesn't have stable identifiers, they, they are pretty stable, the IDs, and you can link to things on OpenStreetMap. Uh, whereas Wikidata uh, was designed from the start to have stable identifiers. Like it, it, it has the QIDs for each of the items and it avoids the problem that Wikipedia does of uh, when uh, a page is, is the renamed, um, you know, the way that you refer to it doesn't change. Um, but it, then it turns out that Wikidata does have a problem with IDs because there's lots of duplicates. Like I've, I've done work where I've been trying to find matches between OpenStreetMap and uh, Wikidata and I've ended up finding uh, duplicates on Wikidata and then there's a way to merge items on Wikidata uh, and when I merge them, you know, the, it's as if the ID of one of the things has changed and is replaced with a redirect. And so in OpenStreetMap right, right now, there's um, 10,000 items that uh, point to uh, redirects in Wikidata. So, um, you know, the stable identifier problem exists in Wikidata. Um, and because uh, now the feeling is that OpenStreetMap IDs too tend to be stable, the, there's a change uh, made last year where um, a new uh, field was added to Wikidata uh, for uh, storing OpenStreetMap IDs. So my tool at the moment only adds the links in one direction. I'm only adding, um, I'm editing OpenStreetMap and putting links in that point to uh, Wikidata. But um, now that this change has been made, it should be possible to put the links in the other direction. So I need to update my tool uh, to add the links in both directions. It, it's going to make the, uh, the process a bit more complicated because I'm going to have to make people log into two different systems. Uh, but overall, you know, it, it needs to be done and, and it'll be better to have the links available in, in Wikidata. Uh, so uh, people are using this software. The, um, so, there's, so far, there's been over 3 million uh, objects with uh, Wikidata tags added uh, in OpenStreetMap. This isn't all from my software. This is, this is the total number of Wikidata tags. So um, these, these are some of the people that have been using my software. And um, I've got um, just almost 500 users. They've done uh, 28,000 uh, change sets. And we're getting towards uh, 800,000 um, Wikidata tags that they've added to OpenStreetMap. And that's about a quarter of the, uh, of the uh, Wikidata tags that are in OpenStreetMap that are, that are done with this tool. Um, so th that was the, the current version that I was showing you. But then I'm, I'm working on a new version. Um, this version is, uh, has a bigger map. Uh, the idea is that when you go there, it'll uh, open straight on the map. Um, like it can tell where you are. And then uh, you zoom in and uh, it's, uh, it shows a lot more data on this one. This, this just shows you uh, uh, every, all the Wikidata items it can find, whether it can find a match or not. Uh, and then you can go through and, and, and check them. So this is uh, the center of Basel. And uh, you know, it's, there's, there's a lot of uh, information there. Uh, if I pick one example, this, this is a building in Basel. You can see on, on the map, there's a, a red pin with a, a circle around it. That's the selected um, uh, building. Uh, and I've got a, uh, I show you the image from uh, Wikidata. And then um, uh, below, I've got a list of possible candidates. And you can see the top one is, is a match. So as a user, you can tick the box and say, yes, I'm happy with that, and save it and add it to uh, OpenStreetMap. So that. That is my system. Thanks.
Thanks very much, Edward. Does anyone have any questions? We have a few minutes. Hi, uh, thank you for your talk. So in the one of the slides, you mentioned a list of uh, APIs mm -hmm. uh, in your service. Uh, yep. So I want to learn if you use, uh, host it yourself or you just use some online APIs in your backend? The, uh, so the, the version one, uh, I, I use the APIs, I use the OpenStreetMap overpass API to download uh, the data that I need. So you, you, you say, you put in uh, a place name like Basel, and I get the bounding box from the nominatum API, and then I say to overpass, give me all of the map data um, that's in this bounding box, and then I load that into Postgres, um, into PostGIS, I process it, find the matches, and then I delete the data again. So, um, you know, I'm not storing a, uh, a copy of the whole OpenStreetMap planet file. Uh, I just pull in the data that I need when I need it. Uh, which is quite slow, like it takes a long time uh, to produce those results. And I do the same with Wikidata, the, uh, the Sparkle queries, the Wikidata query service supports bounding boxes, so I request the things that are in the bounding box and I load them. And then the new system I'm building does have a full mirror of both Wikidata and uh, OpenStreetMap to, to make the responses a lot faster, uh, but it's harder to keep the database up to date to like replicate from the uh, OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? We still have a minute or two. Well, uh, I, I, was I if we've got time, I could try and do a demo. I was going to ask a quick question myself, if that's all right. Yep. Which is just uh, uh, how you might be able to handle temporal change with this, because it's not just about someone might change a train station from being a point to a mm -hmm. node to being a polygon, but some things are actually going to change their use case. Like you might have a restaurant which changes from you know one to someone else takes it over. It turns into a shop. Someone builds an apartment above it. How how do you think you might be able to handle that in future? The, well, that's that's a very good question. Um, the uh, you know OpenStreetMap just wants to show you what is kind of real and live now. There, there is a bit of historical data on OpenStreetMap, like it has uh, um, abandoned railway lines and things like that, um, and so. You know, if the if it's still there but tagged as old, then that will still works in terms of the linking. There is a real problem with Wikidata; it's full of stuff that doesn't exist. Um, like uh, um, I used to live in Cambridge in the UK, and there was a uh, uh, a cricket ground that we got disappeared a hundred years ago that comes up in the system, and it's like linked this cricket ground, and now it's a graveyard. Um, and so I've tried to build things. There's ways to tag things on Wikidata as, as uh, not existing anymore. Uh, you know, there's end date. And so I look for that information and make use of that. Um, the often, like, you might have a, a building um, and its current use, and they have two separate Wikidata items. So, you know, you have a museum and the museum building, and they're represented separately on Wikidata. Uh, and then you know, if you link the building to the building, then hopefully it stays a building even if the usage changes. Um, yeah, that makes sense. Do you think there's any chance of there being an open street map temporal version where it will Yeah, yeah, so there's it? open historical map does, does what you're describing. There is, you know, pe the people are working hard on, on having uh, historical, like, you know, trying to be able to show maps from um, 100 years ago. Um, and they've, they've, people who are working on that have tried to get me to uh, make my system work with open historical maps, but I haven't had time to do that. <laughs> One thing at a time. Uh, we do have uh, a couple of minutes still, so yeah, there's one more question down the back. Uh, hi, so a uh, nominatim service uh, returns a list of objects if you're not that specific, did you encounter that problem? Oh yeah, yeah, so you, you search for Basel and I show you the list of uh, results, like, you know, I give you, here, here's all the, th the things that Nominatum returned, which one do you want? I, I skipped over that when I was, I was demoing it. Um, and I try and pull in a bit more information from Wikidata to, to make it clear which, which of the results is the, is the one that you want. Okay, thank you. 
We do have a couple of minutes if you want to do a quick demo there. Let's see if I can make it work. struggling. <coughs> oh, that's still going. Uh, so this, this is uh, Basel. Uh, here, here's a sculpture. If I click on it, then you can see uh, there's a pin and you can see the sculpture. Uh, and I'm, I'm confident that, that that is a match. So I tick the box and it goes green. Um, let's, let's have a look. Here's, here's a theater uh, and I can tick the box and it goes green. So it's showing me the outline of the theater and I've got the pin. Uh, and then I'm happy with these two. So I'm going to say add, wi add Wikidata tags to OpenStreetMap. Here's, here's the screen where I get to save, uh, and I'm going to hit save. Uh, and then I've opened, uh, I've edited OpenStreetMap, and I can say, view my change set. And there is a change set with uh, two ways uh, edited. So it's success. I think uh, I've got the, the Wikidata tag added there. Uh, and the new thing I built, this is, this is the uh, version two uh, with lots of pins. Red pins are things that are not linked. Green pins are things that uh, are linked. Yellow pins are the OpenStreetMap items. Uh, this is my example. If I tick this one uh, and then I hit save uh, and it's, it's got what I'm gonna do and then I say save to Wikidate, save to OpenStreetMap. Uh, and again, that's worked. And here's a change that I've edited this building and I've added uh, a Wikidata tag. Wikidata, there you go. So, oh. Very nice. All right, thank you very much, Edward.